Don't listen to Simon. Simon says so sea is salty because of whale cum. No, it's not true. That is not why. I don't think... Is it true about the whale cum? Is the ocean salty because of whale sperm? Salt water is not salty because of sperm from whales. Is all cum salty? Although the semen flavor varies from person to another, it's generally warm and salty with a slightly chlorine-like smell. While there aren't any research-backed guidelines, proper hygiene practices as well as healthy diet and lifestyle may Mami slightly make the taste and smell more appetizing. Listen. Is it tr is all animal is all is all universal jisms? Salt. All universal jisms. Is it salt? I have devoted years of my life to animal cums. <laughs> Pineapple is good for it. Do you think if we fill the ocean with 75% pineapple juice that it will help the whales to be less disgusting? Do you think so? Do you think if you slowly... Do you think if you slowly took... If, do you think if you slowly filled the ocean percentage by percentage with pineapple juice that the animals would acclimate to it? You can't put freshwater fish in salt water. You could, you could change them over time. That's what evolution is. That's what evolution is. Fucking mermaids. Do they have vaginas? How does fish? No, they just squirt the eggs out and then the other guy squirt the cum out, right? And it mixes in the water. Is that how mermaids do too? This conversation is cursed. Someone's gotta ask the big questions and I will take- I will take it and I will be the one to ask them. I will be the one to ask them. I'm always the friend in my friend group. Well, I used to be. I used to. But now that I'm friends with people that also use the internet, I'm not that friend anymore. Um, I'm not that friend anymore. Uh, which is the friend that always knows weird shit. I'm always the one that Mami knows Shiba. weird shit. Facts about sexual things. And disturbing things. But now that I'm friends with people who are also internet. I'm not the weird one anymore. I'll be like, did you know? With my old friend group, I'd be like, did you know there are girls who sell their farts in jars? And they'd be like, what the fuck? What? That's not true. Now I say it. And my friends are like, yeah, that's fucking... That's Jennifer. Duh. What are you talking about? Duh. She's been doing this for seven years. If you go on a road trip and you stop at like the truck stops and stuff, there's this guy that like is famous in Florida and he's a Florida man. And what he does is he has some kind of like medical issue where it he can make it look like his heart is beating outside of his chest. So his gimmick is this heartbeat man. His gimmick is not only that you can see his chest inflate and deflate, which I don't remember what exactly it is. He will let you touch it. He will also, his gimmick, I'm pretty sure he does like drugs. Um, if you look up, if you look him up, you can find him in the news. And his gimmick is he will, if you, he'll say, if you pay me 50 bucks or something, I'll let you kick me as hard as you want in the dick, in the balls. That's what, that's what he does. That's what he does. He's like a traveling carnival man that lets you kick him in the dick. That's what he does. And he's like, how do you know that? I met him once. I met him once. And he wouldn't leave me alone. I did not kick him because we were stopped at a 
like an Arby's or a Burger King or something next to a gas station and a truck stop. And he came up and I think he was roller skating. So he was, he was roller skating and we were going to a car show. So it was me and then like six of my dude friends and the guy I was dating at the time. And he was wearing only trousers and he had no shirt on and he came up and he's like roller skating around us while we're parked in the Arby's or Taco Bell or Burger King or wherever we were. And he's like screaming. I don't, I want to like imitate because he did like a country accent and he was yelling. Sounds like a character from Reno 911. Basically, basically. <clears throat> so he was like roller skating around us and my friends um my friends at the time were are really into european cars and so they had like one of them had like a volkswagen gto is that what it's called some kind of volkswagen and then um one of gti that's the one and one of them had a bmw e36 a golf gti that's the one and so there were two Golf GTIs and then there was a BMW E36 or something like that. And so they are like, their cars are wrapped. Their cars were on bags. And they're like all well kept. And so um, bags, they were on like uh, air suspension and they had lights, they had, their cars were wrapped. So they had like the E36 is a douchebag car over here. It is over here too. It is over here. Um. I know some terminology, like a cool person, but I actually, I've forgotten a lot of it because like, I was dating someone in the car scene and of course had friends in the car scene. And now since my brain doesn't have to know those things anymore, it's forgotten them and I don't need it anymore. So we're, we're standing around these cars because we're driving them to a car show. We were, we were going to um, a car show in Georgia. So we're driving from Florida to Georgia and uh the guy roller skated up to us and was like trying to touch the cars and stuff they're like don't touch the cars leave them alone and he's like if you give me 20 bucks i'll let you kick me in the balls and we're like we're okay and he goes check out my heart maybe he was wearing a shirt and he's like look at this and his fucking chest is like going like this it's fucking weird. And if you Google it, man with heart, chest, Florida. Florida man. Is this it? Homeless man's heart appears to beat through his chest. In shocking footage. It has led to him being nicknamed Heart Attack to help him pay for food and shelter. At some point, he decided to incorporate his amazing health quirk into his money-spinning kick-me-in-the-nuts act. In one video, after being booted in his privates, he screams, I am having a heart attack because you kicked me in the nuts, and then shows his medical thing. Kick me in the nuts for 10 bucks! It's 10 bucks! Now, I didn't want to do it, first of all. Because... That's probably his fetish. And I'm paying him for that? I don't think so. You gotta pay me for that. I'm not doing it. Also, no. I'm not doing that. I don't want to kick anyone. I don't want to kick anyone I don't know, either. 10 bucks is 10 bucks. It sounds like I'm making it up. <clears throat> if you ask anyone in Florida about this, if you have a friend who lives in Florida, ask them about the heartbeat man who will let you kick him in the nuts at truck stops. The homeless heartbeat man who lets you kick him in the nuts in Florida. They will know. They will know. It's ridiculous. At like, and we we'll we'll talk about it. 
I'll be like, oh man, we were at the truck stop and there was that guy and they're like, oh my god, heartbeat man? It is probably on the mild side. The other thing that I, I've talked about before is, um, there was a lady that used to frequent some areas and she would just sit at the bus stop completely naked. And she's a big woman. And you couldn't tell because her titties were so big that her nipples were kind of on the underside of them. So it's kind of like she wasn't yeah, naked. And then her belly was big, so it kind of covered up her punani. So it was okay, I think. I think it technically wasn't nudity, but the police would talk to her all the time.